Joe Biden and Kamala Harris want to force all Americans to drive fully electric vehicles, EVs, but their plan keeps running into major snags. One of the worst problems with this idea, other than the fact that global warming is fake, is that the public interest in buying EVs continues to plummet. The most recent surveys show that only about 1 in 10 consumers now say they plan to eventually buy an EV. Consulting firm EY says that in polls related to electric vehicles, buying interest has dropped from 22% last year to just 11% this year. EY notes that this is the first time that interest in EVs has declined from year to year. It's no wonder, considering that EVs can never seem to catch a break when it comes to press coverage. After Congress appropriated billions of dollars to install new charging stations across the U.S., Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg has only managed to build seven, seven. President Trump, incidentally, has promised to claw all that unspent Green New Deal money back from federal agencies once he's reelected. Repairing EVs has proven to be wildly expensive, which is another reason why consumers are abandoning interest in them. Body or structural repairs on these vehicles are far more costly than for regular gas-powered vehicles. There's also the fact that EV engines seem to randomly catch on fire or explode for reasons no one can explain. The fires from the materials in EVs burn so hot that if you get trapped inside one, the medical examiner won't be able to identify you from your dental records, even your teeth melt. Harris and Biden can try to force changes on the marketplace all they want, but if consumers just aren't interested in EVs for the reasons listed above, what happens next?